And that is our special objects module. Well, what in the world is a special object? Well, we're saying the word special because we have a group of objects in the library that really only have one purpose in life. And we'll see what those purposes are. They are to create a title page, which is applicable to only your print output. They are to create a table of contents section inside of your documents, to create a table of figures section, which is only available for a print output, create a macro for when help, create a glossary section, create an index, or to create an index entry. All right, so their singular purpose in life is to do these things. So let's start off by talking about the title page object. All right, the title page object, only available for print output. You can only have a title page inside of your Microsoft Word or PDF document. The title page is an object that will pull information from your book object and display it on the title page. All right, it will do so automatically using the object properties in that title page. And you can choose whether or not you would like a graphic to display on that title page as well. Now the title page design is completely customizable. You don't have to go with author, it's out of the box setup for the title page. The title page uses a series of styles in order to display your book properties. We'll take a look at that in a moment, but just keep in mind that you have complete control over the arrangement of the information on the title page, where the graphics display, what kind of headers and footers you would like in that title page. It's completely up to you. So let's go ahead and take a look at the title page object here. Let's go ahead and make this nice and big. All right, so here is an example of a title page object. All right, we'll go ahead and double click on that. Now notice, title page object is the first object in your sequence. That is because when you publish this book to Word, you want the title page to be the first thing that your user sees. So it is placed at a first level position inside of your book, and that is on purpose. If you were to move this to a different location, author it would just assume you didn't want it to be the first object that published in your book, and your book may look a little goofy. All right, we'll move that guy back up. Now the title page, you'll notice it only has a print tab. And if we go to the general tab, you'll see it only has a print checkbox here as well. It only publishes to print. So when I publish this X1000 user guide to uh, help or a web output, it's just ignored as if it wasn't in the book to begin with. All right, now the only thing really going on in the title page are these checkboxes here that contain information about your book. Now let's go ahead and do this here. I'm going to go up to the view ribbon. Actually, let's do it this way. Give ourselves more room on the screen. If I right click my book, open it up in the properties view, I'm going to put the print tab and the title page side by side, you may start to notice some similarities going on here. All right, in the print tab of a book object, you have the option of entering all of this information here. And this information is all going to be sent with the book to the Word document. All right, so you can have a title, super title, subtitle, version, and byline, which correspond to the checkboxes inside of your title page object. So in other words, if the checkbox for super title is selected on the title page object and there is text in the super title field in the book, 
then that property will display on your title page. Same process for every single one of these checkboxes. If the checkbox is enabled and something exists in that field in your book object, then that property will display on your title page. Now you also have the option of including a picture. This would be a file object that you have associated with your title page. So for example, if you'd like a logo of some sort to display on your title page, you would insert your logo file object in this field here. The media field is your way of telling author at what page format you would like to give your title page. Keep in mind, media objects equal page formatting or page layout, uh, such things as paper size, margins, headers, footers, uh, anything you would think of in terms of, say, a master page in FrameMaker, or going to the page layout option inside of Microsoft Word basically does the same thing. All right, now if we were to publish our title page, let's go ahead and view our published Word document here. It is the first page inside of our Word document because it was the first object inside of our book. And notice how it is displaying the information from the print tab of our book now inside of our Word document. Here is our file object that we associated with that graphic. Now, this particular title page is using this Kelly Green branding scheme here for Acme Teleportation. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my Styles pane and my Styles Inspector and show you what's going on here. Now I did tell you that you had complete control over the look of your title page and that is absolutely correct because what's going on here is that for each book property you have an associated style by the same name. So the super title field is associated with a style called super title title field is associated with the style called title, version is version, and so on and so forth. These are just styles set up inside of your Word template. So you're going to want to have a style by the same name inside of your Word template, but you can modify that style to have whatever appearance you'd like it to. Let's go ahead and make some changes to it here. All right. It's completely up to you in how you style that particular property on your title page. All right. So we've got some questions here in the chat box. Can a title object have a placeholder same look with a different product name? Yes, the title page object doesn't actually contain content inside of it. It's pulling content from your book object. So inside of your book objects, let's open a couple side by side. All right. And let's say your product name was inserted into one of these fields here. Then that product name would uh, always be correct whenever you published to Word because it's pulling information from these fields. Title page doesn't contain information. It is simply a mechanism that pulls information from your book object. All right. We've got another question here. How do you create a title page in a web help output? We don't have a title page object uh, specifically for HTML. What clients will do is insert as the first object in their book. It looks like I have this open already. Yes, I do. A topic object. So that topic object would be the first object in their book instead of the title page. 
and that topic object would have whatever content, uh, graphics, and so on that you would like to display on your title page. And actually that same theory would work for uh, publishing to Word as well. Use of the title page is optional. You can always instead design a topic object where that topic object may contain, say, a two-column table and on one side you've got, uh, you know, links on your uh, home page and then on the other side perhaps graphics or something along those lines. You can play with the layout with the use of tables and then some special styles that you may set up for that topic object as well. So um, what clients will do for your web help is use uh, topic objects instead where the topic object um, has your title page format inside of it, your home page format, I guess you'd call it, for web help. Alright, so title page object uses some built-in styles inside of your word template. That style has the exact same name as the property that is coming from the book object. And you can change the formatting of those styles to suit your purposes. You can also change the arrangement of the information on the page. Notice how there's a frame around this user manual. Well, you can put frames around all of your styles here and then arrange those frames however you'd like to on the page. So you can rearrange the super title, title, version, byline, all that good stuff using frames that have been set up on your style. All right. Now that will take a, a little bit of word expertise uh, when you are working with frames in your word template. Um, so there is help available um, on the word website and so on to do that. But if you do put a frame around that text, you can then position that text at different locations on the page basically.